welcome all of you in online teaching learning process we will start semester second in which we will see paper number 4 analytical chemistry and from this we will see unit number first introduction to analytical chemistry in this unit that is for paper number 4 analytical chemistry the code number is dsc 4b in which first unit is a introduction to analytical chemistry which consist of first is a introductory part second one important of analysis then third part is a analytical process that is qualitative and quantitative analysis then next we will see methods of analysis only classification then sampling of solids liquids and gases then next we will see errors then types of errors that is determinate error and indeterminate error then we will see methods of expressing accuracy that is absolute and relative error and lastly we will see significant figures mean median standard deviation that is in which we will see some numerical problems so first unit is a introduction to analytical chemistry then in case of chemistry the main branches branches of chemistry include organic chemistry or in another word is a carbon chemistry then next one inorganic chemistry that is non carbon chemistry then another branch is physical chemistry then another one is a biochemistry and last one that is a analytical chemistry so in case of chemistry there are four main branches organic inorganic physical and analytical and last one is a biochemistry one then we will see some introduction about the analytical chemistry and other fields so analytical chemistry plays an important role in nearly all aspects of chemistry so there are many fields that depend on analytical chemistry for example in case of medicine sector analytical chemistry plays important role that is is the basis for clinical laboratory tests which help physician to diagnose the disease so all the test including the analytical section then next one in case of industry level analytical chemistry provides the means of testing raw materials that is which type of fuels then materials included in the clothes then another branch is environmental quality that is the air in the cities must be analyzed for carbon monoxide percentage so this is a analytical technique then nutritional value of food is determined by chemical analysis for major components such as proteins and carbohydrates so analytical chemistry plays important role in all these fields then in case of analytical chemistry which answers two important questions so what is analytical chemistry and how much is it so what that is any type of compound contains which type of elements so this is a qualitative analysis gives an indication of the identity of the chemical species in the sample and quantitative analysis means which determines the amount that is exact amount that is weight or concentration of one or more of the components in the sample so analytical chemistry there are two main classifications qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis qualitative gives only presence absence of any element but quantitative gives exact weight or concentration so in the case of classification of analysis so qualitative analysis means determination of chemical identity of the species in the present in the sample and in the case of quantitative analysis which determines the amount of species or analyzes 
in terms of numerical value and in order to perform quantitative analysis typically one needs to complete qualitative analysis first we have to complete qualitative then we can determine quantitative analysis one needs to know what it is and then select the means to determine the amount so special techniques are used for quantitative analysis so what is analytical chemistry so analytical chemistry means which provides the methods and tools needed for insight into our material world for answering four basic questions about the material sample that is what type of material where it is formed how much quantity present in the material and what arrangement of that structure or atom or which form of the material which can be determined by analytical techniques so overall analytical chemistry there are classification that is bioanalytical chemistry material analysis chemical analysis environmental analysis and forensics and which techniques are used so for analyticals the spectroscopy is major techniques used to determine the composition of any material then mass spectroscopy determines weight or mass spectro photometry that is light absorption technique chromatography and electrophoresis then crystallographic technique microscopic and electrochemistry so all these techniques are used in analytical chemistry so thank you all of you for listening this video